What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Eastern Current mini episode. I got Mike on here, and we are going to share with y'all our two go-to. So I'm going to share my two go-to, two go-to, <laughs> my two go-to wintertime lures, and Mike's going to share his two go-to wintertime lures. Um, it is cold here in North Carolina right now, uh, end of January, pushing into February. We've got some colder days ahead, and so having some baits that you're confident in, or at least knowing that that other people catch fish on these lures in the winter, um, can help you. You know, when, especially if you're sight fishing and you're seeing fish um, and not able to get them to eat, it can be a very beneficial thing to have. Um, you know, some lures that that you know the fish will eat. So um, we're going to to share that with you, Mike. I'll let you go first if you want to tackle um, your two favorite wintertime lures. Um, for me, I would say probably a eight ounce or a three sixteen ounce jig head rigged up with a uh, three inch white paddler. Um, Z Man specifically, like the little extra float, little buoyancy gets the tail up a little bit more, and I it think a lot nice. of times, you know, just being able to kind of vibrate the rod tip and just get that little bit of movement out of that um, softer plastic um, can make a lot of difference. So that would be my first one um and my second one i hope i'm not still anywhere this would be a ned rig yeah um i know for me that was something i picked up last year a lot more than what i have in years past um but even with the ned rig it's like a fifth ounce or something like that or no lighter than that um like maybe a sixth of an ounce or something um jig head and then I kind of like to go in the green colors um, for some reason. I feel like that's a lot of what I can find kind of easily available, and they definitely seem to eat it. But um, white as well, or even kind of a brown root beery color can be a good option as well. Yeah. Um, what uh, what rods do you like to fish those on in the winter? Uh, just uh, your, your swim bait rod might be the same, but as far as your Ned rig, is there a specific – weight rod you like to use different tip action or anything like that that helps you fish that net rig better um actually go over here and just grab it real quick um so typically i'm throwing it on a star rod it's a seagus um this one's a four to ten pound line eight to three eight ounce lure and this is a six six Gotcha. It's a little short. This one i have more for my trout fishing um but i like you know, for trout fishing, I'm not worried about it quite as long of a cast most of the time. But when it comes to like wintertime reds and stuff, I'd rather have maybe like a six nine or seven foot something that's a little bit longer if you can find it. Yeah, um, seven just two. Just like a good casting. Seven yeah, a little extra casting distance is nice for sure um, with those light lures. Yeah, especially but, if you're having a fish in that rig, being able to get it. The fish are probably already spooky. Being able to get it out there a little further can be um, yeah. very helpful. Yep. So that would be probably my two. This rod, I definitely throw the paddle tail on a lot too. Um, it's super light action. And I feel like a lot of times I'm throwing, you know, I'm stepping down to 10 pound test uh, leader anyways. Yeah. So, you know, having a little lighter action rod can be great for swim baits and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say my two go to wintertime lures would be. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of piggyback off of your last one. It's it's essentially a type of a Ned Rig kind of, but I like to fish the Texas Finesse Eye by Eye Strike, uh, which is just like a Texas Eye, but it's a smaller bait uh, or a smaller jig that allows you to fish those smaller Ned baits. Uh, and I like to put a Slim Swim by Z-Man on that. Um, that would be my go-to for that. Um, and and same, like Mike said, like a medium light, but I like a 7.2. Uh, I got some... Fenwick World Class rods, seven twos, really, really light, very sensitive, um, high end rods. They're expensive, but they're they're worth it in that wintertime fishing when you've got to, you know, really feel that those little movements of the bait. Um, but I like the seven two. It's just that little bit extra length uh, allows me to get a little more cast, a little more control of my rod tip. Now a seven two and heavy wind is nice for the cast, but when you're fishing it, it can be a bit of a pain in the butt to have all that extra rod out there. Excuse me, I got the hiccups, but. Um, and then I would say my other one would probably be, uh, uh, we talked about this on a recent podcast, Mike, but the 3DS minnow um, yep. is a great bait for both redfish and trout. 
Uh, I've actually caught a lot of flounder on the 3ds minute too when I like specifically trout fishing, maybe a little bit shallower water with it. Uh, but it's a yeah. great bait. It allows you to suspend, stay in that strike zone of those fish if they're if they're floating or suspended off the bottom a little bit, um, and really kind of gives you that ability to to fish that that section of the water column that you can't with a jig without moving it fast. That that's the problem. Like you can fish a swim bait or like a little Ned rig mid water column, but you're having to retrieve that bait way faster with the you know with the suspending twitch bait like a mirror lure. Or a, little jerk bait like that you can really let it just kind of hover in the strike zone for a little bit yeah so um something else i was gonna throw out there um you know i enjoy watching some bass fishing i don't i don't know what it is but when it comes to youtube i'm i'm a bass fishing junkie for some reason <laughs> we so, never bass fish uh, all freshwater stuff that's all i am um, too even though i don't really do it that much but um one of the guys that i watch he does a lot of fishing for with six sense lures He's a big part of their company. Who is it? Probably you know, uh, Milliken Fishing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one of his, one of the lures that they've come out with, a Six Sense, is the Divine Swim Bait. And this color, I just picked up on like a random offshoot, but I don't know how well the camera will kind of pick it up in this light. Oh, yeah, I like that. But it's kind of translucent. Um, it's kind it's of a like an opening light. night a little bit, but 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 a little different. Yeah, it's got a little light green to the back, a little gold flake, and a little purple flake. Um, so this is a, a bait that I've really loved this year, um, throwing some. So and I've, it's a kind of an odd, I wouldn't say an odd size, but it's a 3.2 inch. So it's a little longer, but it's that narrow slender bait, yeah. um, you know, or profile per se. Um, trying to see if this had the color on it but it hey, show that color again i just realized that i was on my screen while you were sharing that i get distracted sometimes oh you're good oh just for the people that are that are watching and not listening oh yeah you can see it really well when it's blown up like that yeah i like that a lot man that's a good looking color yeah i wish that it was a little bit more buoyant of that softer plastic it's kind of rigid you can see the head is really stiff but the tail has a lot of action still in it so you still get a good bit of um a good bit of movement yeah but um, anyway so that's one i've really liked for this year that i've kind of picked up and just you know throw in here and there and had good success with so but i wish i knew what the actual color was so i could tell you all but it just says pro shad that might be the color i'm not sure pro shad yeah but um you know and even with some of the other stuff like the the minnow z's and uh you know we always talk about doa red flakes during the fall for trout but um z-man makes the same very similar color it's just called shrimp color um but you know shrimp color it's a great name any of those you know those little light colored bait fish patterns that are i feel like slender kind of like the 3ds minnow i feel like are pretty pretty money um MR17 can be good too, but it's that, that taller profile, and I feel like sometimes they're a little pickier on that. Yeah. But um, you know, I don't, I don't know. Just kind of depends on where you're at, what, how pressured your fish really are. So. Yeah, and what they're eating. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope that that helps you all. You know, maybe pick a couple of baits to go grab and try this winter on some pickier fish. Like I said, we've got some colder months ahead, uh, some colder days ahead. Unfortunately, we're not quite to spring yet, but that. Those baits help me and might catch a lot of fish in the wintertime, um, especially when they're being a little bit picky. So give them a try. Let us know if, that, if it helps out. Let us know if you already fish them and, and have enjoyed them. Um, but as always, thank you over here for your support and, and watching the podcast. Another thing, too, um, one more week to join Patreon. We're going to start our giveaway at the end of January. And so if you want to uh, – actually, this podcast might not even be up before that. But – we're going to be doing giveaways every month to our Patreon members. We put out extra content every week over there, full podcast episodes, podcast shorts like this. Um, go check out that if you do want some more Eastern Current content. Uh, as always, thank you so much, and we will see you next week. Later.